Hi everyone, my name is Nilos, and this is uh, not another episode of my campaign, although it is on my map for my my season six campaign. Campaign. Uh, however, this is uh, a new thing I wanted to show you. Uh, this is called a dragon curve. So let's have a look at this. Imagine this thing. This is a piece of paper that's folded. So as I unfold it, it's folded many, many times. So I'm going to unfold it once. There we go. Now it's one piece of paper that's opened half up. All right, that's pretty cool. So let's uh, continue exploring this option and saying, well, it's still folded. So let's fold it up more. Now what you're thinking, this is approaching a swastika, but it is not. Don't worry. It is, however, approaching a very strange pattern that's called a dragon curve. If anyone's familiar with the book, not the movie, uh, Jurassic Park, then this pattern is present in several of uh, of the introduction chapters. It also has some mathematical background, but um, anyway, I've, I just suddenly thought of it in context of Factorio that actually it's an option to build it. So we're going to keep taking this uh, this book or this uh, paper and unfold it once more. And now it starts overlapping. It's only overlapping a corner, so that's fine. We've now done one, two, three, four times we fold it up. And we're gonna continue. So this is number five. And we're still gonna continue folding it out, out like this. And I can't be really keep up, but I'll probably uh, I'll probably try to see how many times this is. And we continue to do this. Now the pattern is starting to so it, it doesn't look the same because it starts differently, but you can definitely recognize that this pattern here is the same as this pattern. So it's very much a repeated pattern as it is with these fractal patterns. That they, they're just, they're replications of the same idea that repeats itself, but in the way that it repeats itself, it doesn't just repeat itself uh, like a regular pattern. It, it does actually add something new to it. And now we can start seeing some of the underlying structure of this. You can see here that there's something breaking out here. There's something pattern right here. There's something a bit bigger here and big bigger here, big, a bit bigger here. And then it goes down again and gets smaller. So again, this looks pretty damn cool in my opinion. And we will of course continue. So this one's here. We unfold it once and uh, around the end corner here. This is still our start where the car is. We can keep track of it. This is where my robots will start to get um, strained. You can see how they are clumping up and I'm going to help them. Otherwise we will never ever get the, uh, and I'm not going to say this done because it's as a fractal pattern, you can just continue it forever. But I want to continue it to a certain size so we can get an idea about what it looks like and how it repeats itself. We can see now this blob here is quite big actually. This is a, uh, it's this blob here is starting to have sort of sub blobs out. And that's uh, I don't know if that's the correct fractal terms for these. There we go. Another one, get up here, flip it around that edge and put it down. If I just put a single one down wrong, then I'm completely screwed. Since I have quite a big area, I want to make sure that they only take the ones that are closest. So they minimize the, the flying distance here. So I want to get this area done first. Now we can see this one was the biggest blob before. Now this blob is getting is bigger and this one has sort of a an appendage out here that corresponds to this appendage here. It's just a bit bigger. And then if we go down, we can see, yeah, this also has like an appendage out and that one actually has as well and there. So it is the same pattern that repeats itself. You know, this thing out here, that's repeated up here. This thing up here, repeated up there. But then it's just still all the time getting a bit bigger bit more expanded, a bit more detail every time we replicate the pattern. But as it goes to the biggest one, then it very rapidly scales down to one, two, three, four, and then the end pattern here. And as this one is nearing completion, we will be able to take the next. However, we need to zoom out in order to actually get the full overview. But these robots, they are just dead. There's no way that they can keep up with the amount of work we need to put on them. Good. So let's uh, zoom out again from here. Um, let's do that. 
So now we've zoomed out to this level and we take another blueprint of this thing. It is now 2.7K and I will replicate it once more. So you can see this is getting quite big. And at this point, it maybe it doesn't even make sense to replicate, to wait for the robots to actually do the work. However, it is still possible to copy it again and just exclude entities, but only take the dragon pattern. This is the dragon pattern as we have it. And we're going to replicate it again. This starts from up here. We flip it once. I'm going to go up here a bit because I want to make sure that this hits correctly. If I just misclick once, I'm screwed. Now I didn't misclick. Let's zoom out again just to have a glance at what it looks like. Ah, uh, that's going to be a bit far out. There. And then Fortnite Knight has fallen. But this is the summary of the entire. And you can see it starts from down here. I hope there's enough lights for me to see it. It's I did start it in the early morning so we can get as much coverage as possible. It goes, snakes itself here, and this one is huge, this area. And then once we get up to the biggest one, it very fast, rapidly scales down. And let's, you know, let's just take a blueprint of it. I love this part about Factorio, it's just, it just does not care. Huh, I do have something up here that I actually didn't want in my blueprint. I did not even see that coming. And uh, let's try it again. There, two entities include this. Good. And let's just, for the hell of it, replicate it again and try to insert it. Ah, no, it's too big for my, my view. Did we get it? Yes. And let's zoom out. Now we can see, we can't even see the whole pattern here. And I have to zoom out once more. Uh, luckily, daytime is coming. And this will be... The last zoom out. You can now see the pattern here. It scales up extremely fast and up to the very big one. And then it scales down very qu very quickly. I love this pattern. It's very beautiful. Um, this actually could be something on a tattoo for that matter. And this blueprint, this one now includes about 20,000 uh, of uh, uh, units. And I think we have about three or three and a half for each. Uh, something along those lines between three and four. So it is pretty massive. And the rest of the base you can see that's part of my uh, season six base. But I like this pattern. So uh, I just thought it would be uh, interesting and unique that it could be replicated in Factorio so easily. So uh, there you have it. Let's try one more time. Just can we do this? It doesn't like doing these kind of big blueprints. But here it is, 21,000. Small thing up here for that we can't even take out. 21,000 uh, concrete in a in a blueprint. It looks it looks beautiful in my opinion. But uh, such as hope you enjoyed this small video, and uh, I'll see you another time.